Welcome back to Just Scribble. A couple of weeks ago, Sailor North America had a virtual fountain pen ink show, and I was lucky enough to snag one of the spots for this virtual pen show. And I wanted to share with you guys what I got from the pen show. So I'm gonna start actually with this over here. These are the freebies that I got. There was a limited number of slots available and it cost $20 for your spot and then you got to pick from a wide variety of inks and purchase them at a discount. The lowest price is pretty much anywhere for these inks. And then you got some freebies. So the first freebie that I got is this super cute pin, which I'll put on one of my Delphonics pouches. It is a Sailor nib. And then I got this Sailor washi tape. So I'm gonna open this up so you guys can check it out. This was my first time participating in this virtual ink show and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And the freebies make it even more fun. And like pull out a piece so you guys can check it out. But it has these cute little Sailor ink bottles and it has the names of the inks on it. I really like this washi tape. Very excited about that. Then I got this Pro Folio Journal Sidekick Zipper Case. So it is a magnetic, let me get it off here. It is a magnetic zipper case that you can put onto the front of one of your journals or planners. And so the magnet kind of holds the pouch on there. And then it is just a basic pen pouch. So you can carry pens or ephemera, whatever it is that you want with you. And then we got this notebook. It is called The Notebook and it's from Mismash, which is a Portugal company. I'm gonna open it up so we can look at it. This is larger than a five size. So for size reference, this is a cousin back. So you can see that it is larger than an A5. I believe this is a B5 size. If it's not B5, it's pretty close to B5 size. It is stitch bound. It'll lay flat because of the Smythe binding. And it has ruled pages, 90 GSM paper. There's 144 pages. It is B5 size, so I was right, yay. It has five tabs and it is Smythe binding. So it has these sections that are sectioned off with these tabs and it will lay flat no matter where you open it. Very excited about that. I really like B5 size. So this is a good size notebook for me. So those were my freebies. I got the washi tape, the pin, the little pen pouch, and then the notebook. But really what I wanted to share with you guys was the ink. So I did buy a couple of bottles of ink. As you can tell, I bought more than a couple. So I did get a free ink. This is the 2022 Pen Show exclusive ink. And so this was free to anyone that attended the virtual pen show. And then you could purchase the ink from the last two pen shows. So I purchased the 2020 and the 2021. I bought one of their state inks. I bought Arizona. It's the only one that really called my name. So I snagged that. I bought one bottle of Kobe ink. I got two Sailor Studio inks. I got a bottle of Kiwajuro ink. I already have this ink. I just wanted another bottle of it. It is a great black ink. Then I got three different Monyo inks. And then I got four of these Sailor inks which have really unique properties when you lay them down on paper. They kind of change color depending on how you look at them, the paper that you put it on, and also the pen that you use. So I thought we would swatch out my new inks. I'm gonna do the black one last just because it's got a lot of pigment and I don't want to dirty up my water. But we'll start with the Kobe ink and then we'll work our way through the stacks. 
I did already label the inks on my Cosmo Air Light notebook. It's one of my favorite notebooks to swatch in, partly because it's spiral bound, so all of my swatches kind of stay together, but also because fountain pen inks, the color is really vibrant and really beautiful on Cosmo Air Light paper. So it has become one of my favorite papers to swatch on. So we're gonna swatch them out here. So we're gonna start with this Kobe ink. There's the label. This is number 54, Gashi Kiyama Ochre. I'm sure that is not how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. And I'm going to swatch it out over here. Next, we're gonna do the two studio inks. Now, there's quite a few studio inks that I wanted, but they didn't have all of them. The stock they had was based on their sort of most popular colors. And so a couple of them I couldn't get from the fountain pen show. So I have actually snagged some from Yoseka, and then I have one that just came in stock. So I'm gonna be getting that one soon as well. But this one is 670 and it is pickle juice. I mean, that's what it looks like. I really love funky ink colors. So I was super drawn to this color. It's not actually pickle juice. It's not called pickle juice. I should clarify. It looks like pickle juice. That's what I'm calling it, pickle juice. And then 173, this is one of my favorites in all the swatches that I've seen of Studio Inks. Some of them I'm not a fan of, they just seem kind of flat. This one I always love, so I'm really excited to get this. It's like cantaloupe. And then we're gonna swatch out Arizona. This ink has some really pretty properties in all of the pictures that I've seen, some really pretty shading and color variations. So I'm interested to see how it looks in real life. I know it seems very similar to 173, but dry, they're different. I mean, they're still similar in tone, but the Arizona is gonna be darker and then the variation in it is going to be different. Next, we are gonna swatch out the pen show colors. So we will start with 2020. I actually snagged two of the 2020s and two of the 2021s and I gifted my sister one of each since she didn't get a slot in the pen show. Did any of you guys participate in the pen show? Did you guys know that this even existed? So back in 2020, it was supposed to be their first pen show and they were gonna be in person. And the states that are colored on here, those are the states that they were supposed to be going to the pen show, which means that they would have been at the Dallas pen show that we were planning to go to. But then COVID happened, so they didn't get to. And then in 2021, they did a virtual pen show. And so they colored all of the states in a solid color. And then they kept the virtual pen show, which I appreciate because more people can attend from around North America. It's a little bit easier for people to get to a virtual show with a little time slot. Oh, that's dark, very pretty blue with a set time slot than to travel to a pen show. And although I obviously spent a little bit of money 
when you go to an actual pen show, you tend to spend a lot of money because there's all of the pens and all of the things. So it's a little easier to keep your spending. It's a little easier to keep your spending down in a virtual show. Plus you got the list of inks ahead of time so you could figure out what you wanted and then you could figure out if it was too much or if you needed to scale back some. I am in love with this color, the 2022. That is so pretty. So next we are gonna do the Monyos. We're gonna start with Ha Ha. And I actually have already swatched Ha Ha out before because I got a sample of it and I really loved it. So I bought a whole bottle. It is a duochrome duo shader. So it shades in more than one color. The base color and then the shading in it are gonna be different colors. And actually all three of these are duochrome or duo shading, depending on who you ask. They all call it something slightly different. And then we're gonna try Coke or Coke. I'm not sure how you pronounce it for sure. Oops, splash some water. There. And next, Ayame. Look, you can already see that two dual color coming through there. I'm not normally a green ink person, but this one in swatches that I've seen from some fountain pen enthusiasts was so pretty. I had to get it. Try it out. Plus I think it's good to have green for like the holidays. Always nice to have it for your holiday cards. All right, and then the last four besides the black are these. So we're gonna start with Seki. And for these, I'm actually gonna do this on two different papers. I'm gonna scoot this over just a minute. I really wanna see the difference between Tomoe River paper and the Cosmo Air Light for these because I know that they change depending on the paper. So we're gonna swatch them on both. can already see how that's changing color. It's just such a cool effect. Science is so much fun. And fountain pen ink is science. And then we have Kitsune Biori. There's eight or 10, I think it's eight, but maybe it's 10. Anyways, there's eight or 10 of these colors that do this kind of funky, have these funky colors in them where they change colors. And I was very tempted to buy all of them, but I kept looking at swatches and kept looking at swatches and some of them I just thought weren't special enough or they just weren't really my color scheme. And so I didn't think I would get enough use out of them. So I picked the four that I was the most attracted to. And then we have Itazora. I wanted colors that were special and unique that I could use for journaling and also for art.
can already see that the pink is a lot brighter here than on the Seki over here, and it's shading differently on the Cosmo Air Light paper. It's so fun how it participates differently depending on how much ink you put down and what paper you use. Next we have Bayakuya. These look like such neutral colors, and then once you let them dry, they just completely transform. Do you guys have any of these inks? I'd be curious to know if you do, which one's your favorite. I actually don't know the name of this ink line off the top of my head, but I will put it right here so that you guys can check it out. And then in the description box, I'll list all of them that are available in that ink line, just because it's super special. And then the last thing we're going to do is the Kiwaguru, which is the black. And this is a great ink for art because of its water resistance. And that's actually why I bought a second bottle, because I have some pens coming that I'm going to be using black ink in, some refillable fine liners and things like that. And so I know I'm going to go through a little bit more black ink for art. And so I thought... I would go ahead and snag one because the price was better. And sometimes it's a little hard to find this ink in the States. Okay, so there we have our swatches. I'm actually gonna scoot this over so you guys can see the Cosmo Air Light and then we'll do the Tomoe River comparison once it dries. But those are the swatches. I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna come back and we are going to check them out and see what we think. But I really love them together. I think that it's such a really pretty collection of colors. I got some brights, I got some neutrals, I got some funky colors, I've got some special effects. Really happy with my purchases. But let's let them dry and we will check them out together and see how they look dry on the Cosmo Air Light Paper. And then we will check out these four on Tomoe River and see how they compare to the Cosmo Air Light. Okay, all of these inks are dry except for this one little puddle on the black. So I'm just gonna be super careful when I show them to you. I'm gonna lift it up so you guys can see. There we have the 2020 show exclusive ink, 2021, which has this amazing sheen on it. And then 2022, which also has sheen. I really love that 2022 ink. Then we have Arizona and Studio 173. So you can see that they're very similar, but Studio 173 is much lighter, and that's with the amount of ink that my automatic pen lays down. So in an actual fountain pen, it's going to be a very soft, subtle, faint color. It would probably be a lot better in a dip pen just because you put more ink down. There is my pickle juice, 670. Then we have Haha ha and Coke or Coke and IMA. And then we have Siki and Kitsune Biori and Itazora and Bayakuya. The Bayakuya and the Siki are a lot closer in color than I thought they would be. The Izatora is more blue. It's a much cooler color. These have a lot more pink in them, but I didn't think they'd be quite so close in color. So I may end up sharing one of these with my sister. Then I have Kobe 54, which is the ochre, and then the black, which is so pretty. And then over here, we have the Tomoe River. I'm gonna flip this back of those four so you can kind of see the difference. So they're much more purple on the Tomoe River and more of the green is coming out than it is on the Cosmo Air Light paper. It really it makes a difference which paper you use when you put down these inks and how they come off. Because you can see this is the Seki or Siki next to itself 
and you can see how different they are. And then the Kitsune Biori, there's a lot less shading on the Tomoe River than there is on the Cosmo Air Light. And then on the Itazora, you get a lot more of the green and a lot more the vibrant violet on the Tomoe River than you do on the Cosmo Air Light. And then let's switch hands. And then on the Bayakuya, you have a lot more fuchsia pink on the Tomoe River paper than you do on that Cosmo Air Light. I just wanted to show that to you because the paper you use makes a difference in how these inks come out. But they are more similar than I thought they were, especially these two, but I don't really mind. Some of the other ones are a little greener and a little dingier colored, not in a bad way, just a little muddier. It's just not as much my thing. These colors are more my thing. So I am happy with my purchases. But I think the shading on all of these is just, these just have such beautiful shading and special properties. The sheen on the exclusive shows is just oh, so, so pretty. Now the hard part is figuring out which ink I'm going to put into which pen and which ink I'm going to use first. I actually got recently a new Narwhal pen right before they changed their name. It's a clear demo and I was going to fill it with one of these inks because it does have a broad nib so it'll lay down more ink and so some of these shading properties will really pop. <laughs> the puppy's crying, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But I'm trying to decide what color I want to put in that pen. So let me know down below what color you think I should put into my new Narwhal Clear Demonstrator pen. We'll take a little vote and see what you guys pick. That's my video on the Sailor inks that I got at the virtual ink show that Sailor North America hosted a couple of weeks ago and the freebies that I got when I participated in this virtual ink show. I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any questions about anything that I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.